Hello friends, welcome to another session of Retail Graph. In this video, we will see introduction part of Retail Graph software. Now before logging in, let me tell you some information regarding the software. Starting with technology, Retail Graph front end is made up on .NET technology and back end on SQL Server. Retail Graph is designed for single stores as well as multiple stores. For example, you have more than 50 stores and you want to manage those stores as per centralized system. So you can manage that in Retail Graph. In this, you can find options like centralized reporting, centralized inventory control, centralized rate control, centralized masters, centralized promotions, centralized customer points. Retail Graph is designed for distribution segments, retail segments, franchisee segments and CNF segments. Now we will see the segments where Retail Graph can be implemented. Chemist Pharmacy Shops, Mobile Stores, Departmental Stores, Ready-Made Garment Stores, Cosmetic Stores, Electronic Shops, FMCG Stores, Auto Parts, Gift Store, Homeopathy Stores, Ready-Made Jewelry Stores, Liquor Store, Home Furnishing Stores, Restaurants, Sanitary and Hardware Stores, Shoe Stores, Sports Store, Books Store, Consign Job Work, Branch and CNF, Wholesale and Semi-Wholesale, and Distribution Management. So these are the segments where Retail Graph can be implemented. Now we will log in into the software. For that you need username and password. So username and password by default is admin and admin. You can type username and password in uppercase as well as lowercase. So your initial screen looks like this. You can also set your dashboard on your screen. So this is your initial screen. Now if you click on the start button of the software, here you will find all the options you will get in the software. So we have managed these options as per like if you click on the sales, so all the options related to sales are available in sales option like sales invoice, sales chalan, sales replacement, sales return, sales credit note, sales debit note. All the options related to sales are available in sales option. With the same pattern, if you click on the purchase, all the options related to purchase are available in purchase option. Like purchase invoice, purchase order, purchase re return, purchase replacement, purchase debit note, purchase credit, credit note. So all the options related to purchase are available in purchase. If you click on the inventory option, all the options related to inventory like product conversion, receive location transfer, shortage, surplus, opening stock entries, all the options related to inventory are available in inventory. Next option is receipts. In receipt option, you will find all the details of payment of customers. Options like receivables, receivable aging, receivable reconcile are available in receipt option. Next option is payment. In payment option, you will find all the payment details of the vendors. Options like PDC to cleared, check cleared, checkbook, payable agents, all options are available in payments. After payments, next option is accounts. In accounts, you can maintain your bank account in the software by inserting different different vouchers. Next option is payroll. You can maintain your staff salary structure in payroll option. Next option is GST beta. With this option, you can submit your GST tax reports to government portal. Next option is view. In view options, you will find many options as you can see on my screen. So basically view means to find code detail of that particular option. For example, if you want to see a code detail of a particular product, so you have to go into the product query and access it. 
so after accessing a product detail you will find all the details of that product its sale its purchase every single detail so view options basically means to find code detail of an particular query next option is reports reports is also managed in the same way in sales report you will find all the reports related to sales in purchase reports you will find all the reports related to purchase in transaction status reports you will find all the reports of your sale and purchase how much credited and how much debited is getting in your sale and purchase next option is accounts report in accounts report you will find your accounts till balance sheet with that you will get day books in day books you will get sale register and purchase register individually after that next option is inventory reports in inventory reports you will find all the reports related to inventory for example sales and stock stock details stock aging reorder details fast moving items stock ledger ad adjustment reports inland reports reports related to inventory next option is profit reports you can find your month wise date wise customer wise product wise invoice wise current stock wise profits with that you can also schedule your reports as per your time for example you need a particular report every day at 3 pm or 2 pm whatever time you want you can schedule your report as per that time so every day you will automatically get that report according to your time set so these were the reports option after reports next option is analysis in analysis you can create your own reports you can modify rows columns as per your needs and you can uh, maintain your own report according to your design next option is masters if you click on the masters you will find lots of option in this first option is inventory in inventory we will make product product categories tax categories after that next option is customer vendor in customer vendor you have to make customer and vendor deed masters next option is accounts you can make your bank accounts in this accounts option next option is locations you can make your geographical locations in this option next option is resources in resources you can make unlimited users and unlimited roles in the software now if i click on the role option in this window you will find all the by default roles which are made in the software for example if i edit store head administrator so store head administrator have all the rights to assign roles to the users now for example you have some users and you want to assign roles to them so you just have to tick the options you want to access your user and untick the options you don't want them to access with the same process you can also enable and disable the options in admin panel you want to see and the options you don't want to see so all these options which i have shown you shown you before like for example if i click on the start button and go to the sales option and i have lots of option in sales so i can disable the options which i don't want to see or the options which are not useful for me so i can disable these options in the same window and in future if i need that particular option i can again enable that next option is options in this option you will find options like data backup close financial year export import your data import transaction print transactions change branch change users so these are the options which are given in options next option is tools in tools option you will find calculator tax editor report designers you also have an option of sms and email you can send your customers text message as well as email it can be your invoices it can be your reports also so if you want to schedule your email and sms 
you can also schedule your SMSs and emails. You can select the type of the schedule like anniversary, birthday, message, report, transaction, user defined form. You can send it through email or SMS or your reminder. You can also select the transactions of which you have to send. So you can also select the transactions from here. You can select the attachment type also like Excel, PDF, HTML file. You can also schedule time, date, week, month, everything. You just have to set one time and after that at the back end this option runs automatically. So these are the options you will find in tools. Next option is help menu. In this help menu you will find about us like your company information will be in about us, shortcut keys from where you can manage the options through keyboard if you need online support we have that visitors training guide menu options FAQs so these are the options you will find in help menu as you can see you also have some options as a taskbar as well if you put your mouse on these options it will tell the name of that option and the shortcut key from the keyboard to access this option so you can simply just click in on these options and access them so this was the introduction video of Retail Graph. For more details, you can visit our website www.swindia.com or www.swilldesk.com. For sales related queries, you can call us on 952991373.